Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dom, and this is my server world. I guess everybody's saying hi to YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I got a pretty much we got a full server all day, every day. Um, we got a lot of new things we're going to talk about today. Um, it's I think it's day four now. Of wow, everybody's like, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, We've got a lot of new stuff that we've completed. Um, mostly it's it's you guys. Um, I haven't made too much progress on my base. I've been uh, busy doing a little bit of uh, administrative work, which I will tell you guys about soon. But I'm going to take you around um, and show you show off the place. So um, most of the, I mean, couple a little bit of these things are the same. Um, spawns a little bit the same. Um, Lucas expanded on his D, made it a little, look a little bit, little bit better. I changed um, the inside over here um, a little bit. Um, I have some plans to uh, put lava down in those um, those big channels cut in the side. <laughs> and um, I also have a plan to, uh, you know, like uh, use pistons right here and seem to be able to stop the lava just uh, an option same thing's gonna happen here I plan on e even though it's water right now <clears throat> I plan on making um, this these center two blocks being able to turn off um, the water that's running down and for these floor sections to come up just so it's like a door so you hit a button and that all happens <laughs> Man, you guys are just all over these wanting to, you know, s support me. Hi, Mortac. Thanks a lot. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, I don't know if I showed this in the last video, but anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did now that I think about it. Nothing's really changed. Everything's the same. Okay. Uh, this has changed a little bit. Uh Go Go Goat has a couple of other people that helped him build this thing. Looks like a big sword, I think. It looks like like stabbing to his base. It's pretty sweet. So um, this is uh, one of the uh, one of Mortax's uh, houses, which is amazing. I think it looks really really cool. Um, he's got himself like a little guys. You're in the way. Um, <laughs> he's got himself <laughs> um, like a little uh, uh, farm in the back or spa almost I think um, somebody built me a big shrine over here um, it's really kind of flashy um, it's pretty cool though um, and recently Lucas built this for me um, he's been building a lot of this like flashy stuff um, and uh, I kind of added to it um, he built it's pretty much what I'm gonna keep here as my like my donor wall so far, I've already had Wordy101 and Zpitzer um, to donate to the server. Um, their no donations are going towards um, expanding it up so we can have more people on it at one time. Um, yes, I'll show your castle, Mortac. So, um, trust me, I'll show your castle. But yes, it, all the, the money will be going towards that, um, expanding it to get more people on here, uh, making it better pretty much, so... Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Okay, um, that's pretty much spawned so far. Um, building, somebody's building out here. I think it was Lucas who was changing this landscape into like a sandstone landscape. Um, don't remember if the spleef field was there last time, but uh, somebody's making something else into it. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Let's bring you up to the village. Along the way in the village, there's been a couple of people sprouting up, making little houses like um, Alan Ocelot. <clears throat> and let me bring this down to you here. This was also um, built by Alan Ocelot. It was a really good idea. I wasn't even on the server when he did it, um, but this is a really good idea, making a start, like a starter place for everybody. Um, I would like to have it like stocked <clears throat> so if you guys are whenever you guys watch this um, go ahead and you know put basic supplies in here you know 
the basic set of maybe even just stone tools or whatever and make sure they're stocked every once in a while. I'll keep an eye on it too. Um, so let's go ahead and head up to the village again. Um, a couple of places have sprouted up in the village even though it's mostly vacant. Um, which I really do want it to come back into life. Um, I know not really many people are living up here. But I do like the fact that people are continuing to build on it. There are a lot of cool houses springing up. I mean, I've been in a few of these. Um, don't know whose this is, but it's pretty cool because it's like built into the side of this mountain. It's pretty sweet. Okay. But this is Mortax Castle. I love it. It is awesome. I flew through here one time. It was awesome. So, um, there he is. He's jumping up and down on his castle. But there's a bunch of rooms, and I mean, it looks so epic um, so he did a really good job here um, you guys can go ahead and um, go inside I know he's inviting me but I gotta <clears throat> I gotta keep going this the video will get too long if I you know show absolutely everything off this is just kind of a status report for you guys here's um ooh, what is this now dud metal made this big hole Wow <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous don't know what the point of that is other than to get like resources but that's kind of weird and I'm assuming he lives here okay cool so let's go ahead and head to where everybody's living now <clears throat> that's still ABC Inc's house um, <clears throat> still looks great uh, he did get reef though recently but uh, it's all back to normal now he fixed it up so this is the new addition. Um, the last video, I was flying around, having fun, over here, somewhere, and I said, oh, look at this island, that's pretty cool. Oh, it was at Wordy's house, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was at Wordy's house. And, um, hey, cool, he expanded on it. I've never even been over here. Hold on, guys, over at the Sea Village, I will be right back. <laughs> wow, Wordy, you're awesome. Making a lot of cool stuff. That's really cool. But, wow, dude, that's nice. But yeah, I said that this island looked really cool and we should start building on it, I think. <clears throat> and then you guys kind of took it literally and found this one and that one over there. I know the chunks aren't loading correctly just yet. And uh, this is a portal I randomly found. <laughs> But uh, we've been working in the, the nether, well, I have been working in the nether to keep it, make it safe for people to go in and collect lava. Um, I'm almost done with that. <clears throat> that was one of my bigger endeavors. But here we are, we're at the sea village. I mean, they built these really cool bridges, there's a bunch of reeds. Um, <laughs> okay, I got you, zombie. Oh, cool, I didn't even know there was a ladder up here. But yeah, this is their lighthouse. <clears throat> This is pretty much all of them. I didn't even take part in this at all. I've pretty much been working over at the base. They do an excellent job. Everybody that's been working here um, does, does an excellent job designing absolutely everything. The whole place is be built by de by them and zombie, everybody. Um, so, welcome to Seaville. There is the mine, which is freaking huge! Um, <laughs> there is, like, bunch of places a couple of people's houses have sprung up over here but uh, this is where everybody's living right now so it's really really cool it's quite a walk from from start but kind of happy with it because it's um it's very very unique so thanks a lot guys for building that and have fun with it so uh now is you know a good time for me to tell you what some of the plans are i'm having for the server um, I kind of plan on, um, of course, keeping it as is. Um, so, you know, no, close to, actually, right now there's no mods at all, and I don't plan on adding really any. And, um, let's go ahead and jump down into the base. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's a quick access to the base. Um, but yeah, the, uh, plans I'm having that I'm thinking of with the, with this server um, is of course not to have very many mods but um, to be able to have 16 slots um, right now we only have eight um, this is a multiplayer server and I have um, 
limited funds at that point, and that's actually why I am extremely um, thankful of Wordy and Zipitzer. Um, I don't know if you say it like that or if it's even spelled like that. I just he hasn't been on for today. I don't think, <laughs> but um, I'll ask him. Anyways, but yeah, this has been a a lot of work for me, and my plans are to make it a 16-slot server, and eventually, oh cool, somebody added lights, um, and eventually make uh, somebody else in charge of the admin work, um, because it's just taken a lot out of my time, and I'm not able to, you know, invent things for you guys for tutorials, and um, I was working on this tutorial over here for the auto um, auto melon farm and pretty much I couldn't get it done uh, because of you know the fact that I've just had to do a lot of administrative work on here um, I am currently like I said trying to expand the server from the current eight slots like it is to 16 so we're gonna get we can get a lot more people on um, and I don't know it, it'll, I think it'll be more fun with more people um, I am getting a lot of people asking me if I'm going to add like uh, Lockett as a mod. Um, as of right now, not real, not just yet. Um, but I know everybody's kind of wondering, you know, why am I not going to, you know, protect you guys? That kind of thing. It's because I have a couple of plans, um, and I think a mod that locks out chests is will go against the plans I'm having for the for the base. Uh, for the for the base for the for the server, but um, I'm currently thinking about changing those plans though. So you guys might see um, some sort of administrative tool like that in the future. Um, I do plan it, like I said, I do plan on getting some sort of administrative pers person um, to help me out with this to uh, uh, you know pretty much run the server from an admin standpoint, uh, making sure everybody's happy and everything's you know not broken. Um, because like I said, it is a lot of work for me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys are doing awesome. I'm having a whole heck of a lot of t fun playing with you guys. Um, this is a great experience, and I know you guys are enjoying it. And, uh, I do thank everybody that's, you know, you know, contributed to, uh, to me and whoever will in the future. And, uh, whoever is contributing to the, um... To, to the structures that we're building and to the systems that we're building and all that other stuff. So thanks a lot, guys. And thank you guys for, you know, being great people, not griefing each other and not messing with each other. So, you know, it's a lot of fun not having to worry about that. So you guys are great. Thanks a lot. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll uh, see you in two days.